Okay, uh, this should be revision from last year for most of you guys, but let's just take a look at this. Uh, it's solving indicial equations using logarithms. Solving indicial equations using logarithms. Sometimes you're not going to be able to equate bases. 5 to the power of x equals 10. Uh, you can't equate the bases. You can't make both of the bases 5 here. Uh, so what you can do is use logs. So I'm going to take log base 10 of both sides. Remember when you want to write log base 10, you just write log. Uh, so I'm going to write that there. Log 5 to the x equals log 10. Now remember that says log base 10, 5 to the x equals log base 10, 10. Okay, uh, from there... We can take this x, this power, and remember your third log law from last year, or maybe you don't, that x can come all the way out the front here. So x times log base 10, 5 equals uh, log base 10, 10. I'm going to draw the 10 in there just to try to jog your memory a little bit. You should remember that log base 10, 10, if the two, if the base and this number are the same, the answer is just 1. So x log 5 equals 1. Okay, now from here, this says x times log base 10, 5 equals 1. So you can rewrite this whole thing as x equals 1 over log base 10, 5. Now, when you type that into your calculator, uh, you can use a scientific calculator or your um, or your graphing calculator. One divided by log base ten to the five will be um, one point four three one to three decimal places at least. Okay, magic of television. Another question has appeared. Uh, two to the power of x plus one equals twelve. Now, same deal here, we can take the log base 10 of both sides, log 2 to the x plus 1, keep the brackets in there for now, equals log base 10, 12. Now, third log law, this x plus 1 can go from here to the front, so we end up with x plus 1. Uh, times log base 10, 2. Uh, we'll keep this here, log 12. Okay, now we can see that this is x plus 1 times log base 10, 2. Uh, so we can get rid of the log base 10, 2, move it to the other side by dividing both sides by log base 10, 2. So log 12 divided by log 2 equals x plus 1. Uh, now finally um, we can see that x plus 1 if you type that into your calculator you'll get 3.585 now if I do this this plus 1 can move from this side to this side and become negative so 3.585 minus 1 that means that x is going to equal 2.585. Okay, this, hopefully, both of these things should be revision from last year. Uh, make sure you're practicing them. You're definitely going to need them over the next uh, year.